Hello and welcome to Geeky Bit. Today in tech history, we're going to talk about Apple Talk, or local talk as it's sometimes called. Apple Talk was introduced in 1985 and it was used through to the 90s. On top of it working with Macintoshes, there was also an x86 card and it worked with Apple 2GS computers. By macOS X 10.6 in 2009, Apple Talk became unsupported. Phone Net adapters made it so the easy to use network standard but expensive connectors were cheap and could be used by e using existing phone cables. Early Apple Talk network speeds capped out at 230 kilobits per second as it used the RS. 422 serial standard. It was compatible with Macs and PCs and Apple 2GSs of the time period. Let's take a look at Apple Talk in action. But before we do, let's take a look at some of the stuff we need. So I have phone net adapters and a couple phone net terminators. So here are those terminators. And here are the phone net adapters. I even have a couple old phone cables so I can use them. Okay, so here are two Macs that I have connected to each other. As you can see, they see each other in the chooser window. And we should be able to even mount one of the file system's drives from one of the Macs. So let's see about that. So we'll go over to this one and then let's mount the Power Mac 6100. Click OK. And then here, the name is geeky bit obviously and then password is like i'm gonna tell you all right and then we click ok once we've entered our password and we have several drives to choose from so we're gonna go ahead and i think we will select games and then click ok and then we'll give it a moment and see what happens this is an lc2 so it's a little slow and there we go. Well, it mounted apps, not games. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. Let's take a look here. Yep, there we have files. Great. Okay, so now we're taking a look on three different computers. So we have our Power Mac 6100, our Macintosh LC2, and then of course that Macintosh Plus. With all of that out of the way, let's talk about my story with Apple Talk. In 1995, I got to use a networked Mac for the first time. The school I went to had to save our files to a network drive in a folder with our names on it. So this was all before the era of modern text. Students would share messages and files as we could all access each other's folders, and some students would even delete others' stuff. This is how Marcus and I had gotten to be friends in the first place, as we both shared an interest in Max, and it was fun to mess around with the network folders. So Marcus and I had gotten the idea to switch everyone's homework assignments around. We thought it was funny, because we told people they should save to a disk, but they were like, why? Well, security, duh. Of course, this netted us a well-deserved detention for about two weeks. The school also made it so you had to save your homework assignment to disk, though they still had the shared folders for everyone to do stuff with. So here are my thoughts about Apple Talk. While Apple Talk was easy and had a password, it wasn't as secure as other network products of the same time, and I still use Apple Talk to this day on my old Macs. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and if so, feel free to click that like button. And if you aren't subscribed so already, feel free to do so. And if you'd like to get notifications of my future videos, click that bell button.